Hey everybody, my name is King Claude. We're having an amazing day and today we're here with some more GTA Online. Now, since we bought the Pegasi Torero XO and the Benefactor LM87, we're finally buying the Lampdati Corsita. Now, I don't know if I'm going to buy the Obey Omni EGT yet. I feel like I probably will, just depending on how I feel by the end of this video. It's nice, don't get me wrong, but it's such a long process, y'all. <laughs> this is Lampdati Corsita, right? The stats are pretty cool. The acceleration and the traction are almost top notch. Top speed is not the best, but it's definitely up there. And the braking is just about average. 1.795 mil. Of course, this is close to 1.8 mil. Just gonna say that it is. It's only 5,000 off. With after upgrades, of course, obviously it's gonna be over 2 mil. This is a pretty nice car, though. This is um, what you would expect from not the best car but it definitely looks pretty cool right i'm interested in particular to the headlights it looks like there's five different tiers of headlights there is the dotted the stripe dot stripe stripe pretty interesting right this already looks pretty cool i always order them in white and we'll start from the ground up in a full customization as well as a review video if you guys want to see some more of this be sure to let me know because i am draining myself dry with these customization videos i don't know if i'll buy all five of the cars that were fully introduced with this update but of course i already have technically three now with the corsita we have the original torero xo which i i love i mean it was it was phenomenal upgrading it and we just got done with the benefactor lm87 so with those two out of the way let's get on with the brand new lamp daddy corsita i will see you guys once it arrives now i actually like the design of this right now this thing is actually based off of the real life maserati mc20 Y'all can see it actually has a pretty sleek design. It is definitely a little more modern as opposed to something like this. Regardless though, I mean, y'all, y'all, look at it, look at it. This is a two-seat car. You guys can see right here. I want to say this is probably, actually, no, it is. It's my first Lump Daddy car ever, which funny enough, the, um, where is it at? <laughs> the Benefactor. That was the first Benefactor car I ever bought. We're continuing that trend with this. Now, the Lamp Daddy is super nice. This is the Corsita, of course. This is brand new. You guys can see the actual stats of it, like I said, are pretty good. Comparable to something like the Torero, which the, the stats were up there. But, I mean, this is just... It starts off with traction and acceleration fully maxed out, which is insane. Something even like the Benefactor didn't achieve something like that when you first bought it. Top speed is pretty good as well, and the braking is just about average. Let's see what this is like. I like this. I love the design of this. One more time. All right, y'all, let's take it out and let's get a full customization underway. I like this. I love how sleek design this is. Super like, I think this is probably the slimmest car that I have. Nothing too big, nothing bulky, nothing sticking out a lot. Very sleek, just nice design. This thing drifts far, what the heck? <laughs> okay. That's decent recovery from turns. I love this. Alright, let's see what they got. I would assume, I feel like there's almost no way that they don't have a convertible. They don't. I guarantee they don't. <laughs> Let's get 50,000 with it, right? 35,000. Um, our bumper. Ooh, already. I don't know. I kind of want to keep the minimalistic design. Super sleek. Let's take a look at the liveries. I do like to take a look at the liveries first. This thing looks like it has some pretty decent customization lower stripe does cover the first top half white racing double stripe a black stripe we have the white wide the black wide mine mocked oh that looks so good though bank of liberty no that's it that's it that's gotta be it right there what the love daddy racing i'm going with that easy that's the easiest pick i've ever had in my entire life <laughs> bro are you serious hold on I like to go with the frost white just because you can actually see a lot of the white detailing as opposed to the ice white. 
and it's not as harsh on the eyes usually but i just feel like i don't know i think the ice white might be worth it bro it might be worth it oh my god this is the best customization i've ever seen just because of this alone now the secondary color will actually change this top part interesting enough Ooh, I like how that looks. Hold on. Part of me feels like we should just go with white. Just because we can keep it very nice. And and it'll flow a lot better. If we go with a... Ice white. We'll have it the exact same color. But, I also feel like if we do something like a... Maybe a blue. That would look cool too. Maybe we could just keep it full half and half. We'll come back to that. I love how this looks. This is such a nice car. Actually, hold on. Bro, like, I just, I love how, how offset that looks. I'll come back to that. That's going to be a tough choice. And our trim color, we can fully customize the inside of it. I do want to get a nice blue. I love this car already. Ooh, maybe a dark blue. You can see out the back of it. What's up, my boy? Who's that? <laughs> Let's see. A dark blue is nice. I usually go with diamond blue for interiors. Oh, the ultra blue is nice, though. That's cool. Dark blue is cool, too. I think we'll go with racing blue. I like ultra blue, actually. We'll go with that. Let's see. Okay, let's start from top to bottom, just in case I missed something. Bumpers. Ooh. Oh. Oh, my God, bro. I like the bolted look. What the heck? This is the craziest... What, bro? That's insane. What the heck? This thing has crazy customs. Oh, I'm, I'm here for it, bro. I'm here for it. I think I want to keep it super sleek looking, and I feel like this flow is super nice. So we'll go with the primary Look carbon sharp. super splitter. For the rear diffuser, we'll get some side fins. This one's winged, it does have like a full right angle on it. This one's a little more curved, it flows a little better. And this one definitely does stand out a lot. I like how minimalistic this one is. Whoa, with that, the black small wing kit. Engine fully upgrade. Okay, for our exhausts. Oh, I like that. I like how much that shines with the chrome tip. Ooh, the twin exhaust with the chrome. And then the twin boxed. Ooh. You have to. I feel like you have to. For our grill. Can we get a logo on it? Ooh, look at that. Black inverted. Oh, the chrome. That's a lot. This is gonna be tough, let's see. I honestly, I like the stock a lot, but I feel like you just have to. You just have to put something on it. And I'm messing with the chrome a lot. I think... I like this. Hmm. Actually, I like this one a lot. We'll go with that, the GT. For some lights. I'll take it over to um, HSW. I always do. I think we might go with the blue. Yep, my mind's made up. We're going blue. 
Bro, I, I just love how this card looks already. This might be my favorite customization that I've done. By far. I mean, this livery is probably the best livery in the game. I like that because it has the blue in the front. Oh my god, bro. Dude, this is... It's going to be hard to ever beat this. For our roof. No, we got to keep the half and half. Carbon. Ooh, get the streak stock. Streak... The, the, the street stock. Ooh. I like these on the top, but I feel like this one. A racing scoop. Yeah, we'll go with that one. For our skirts. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, the primary street skirt. Ooh, racing one's good too. I love how far it comes out. Oh, the GT's crazy. Oh, I love how far that comes out. There we go. Have a nice little... Uh... Do I match the back with the black or do I match the front with the white? I think the front. Keep this sleek, honestly. We'll go with this one. Now that's a custom job. For our splitter. Little canards. Ooh. This is crazy. This thing has great customization. We're gonna go with this. Like I said, I want to keep it very sleek and very slim. Although, we could just go with this one. The medium does stick to the car just a little more. For a spoiler, I kind of feel like we don't even need a spoiler. This might be the first car where I don't add one. But I'm tempted, bro. This performance is cool. Dude, these get crazy, bro. What? <laughs> oh my god. Hold on. I love how it looks without one, honestly. But... Yeah, no, I, I honestly, bro. Oh my God, hold on. This is a tough choice. I mean, that flows, but I feel like it's kind of basic to just slap on a spoiler, you know? Well, I think we're gonna go with no spoiler. Sunstripe. Ooh. Dude, they added some great ones in this update. All of these sunstrips have been really good, fully customizable. As opposed to just like the primary, secondary one brand. They got they have a lot of choices to choose from. And I love that. I love how they do that. Between the white and the black. I might go with the black. Um, yeah, I'll go with the black. Which is crazy, because I usually go with the white. We can drop it down all the way. Transmission. Our trunk. Ooh. The vented's cool. It's kind of hard to see. Ooh! Performance might be it. Yeah, I, I think performance is it. Bro, dude, this car is so nice. I feel like there's not a wheel set to do this justice. I think we might have to stick with the stock, which, I mean, they've done a great job with it. Because so far, I think all the cars except the Benefactor have kept stock wheels. These tires are hardcore.
Hmm. I think I'll keep it see-through. Bro, this might be my favorite car that I own. That did come to the Torero. The Torero XL was super nice, and I love how it turned out. This is by far the best car I've ever owned. And my favorite in GTA. This car is so nice, bro. I mean, look at it. The half and half? This is the best livery to be in the game. It looks cool. I think they did a great job with the front part. This little design that they have for the gray side. It's super nice and the peacock just looks cool too. But this blue color, I mean the half and half. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> the half and half I've always really liked. I've always thought that was really cool looking. But when it comes to the the blue color, I mean they, they didn't go wrong. They literally didn't go wrong. This is it, y'all. This is my customization. If you guys want to see some more of this, be sure to let me know, y'all. I mean, I just, I love it. I feel like you got to cruise around the street with it, you know? Crash into absolutely everything that you see. How y'all think I did? Honestly, I don't think I went wrong at all. I think this is my favorite car to date. Like I said, I mean, the Torero was my favorite after customizing this, bro, it has to go for the Lamdotti Corsita. Thank y'all so much for watching. My name is King Quadro. I'm having an amazing day once again. Thank y'all so much for all the content support. I really do appreciate it. If you guys want to see some more content like this, be sure to let me know. I am almost dry. I think in my bank account, I have 6.4 mil. Earlier, I had 15.4 mil. So, one more car to go, y'all. Y'all let me know how, how y'all think I did with this car. And until next time, have a great day. And goodbye. Enjoy our test drive.